How to Slice Thai Sea Bream for Nigiri, Minimizing the Loss of Meat When slicing fish for nigiri or sashimi, such as sea bream, you can simply start slicing from one side to another. However, since the shape of the fillet is not rectangular like a tuna block, it's inevitable that you will be left with some small pieces which cannot be used for nigiri or sashimi. Therefore, to minimize the loss, you have to be strategic as to which side to cut the fillet from. What are uwami and shitami? In Japan, placing the fish with the head facing left is the standard position to keep fish in. This is the same no matter what the circumstance, be it a fish shop or a restaurant. When you position the fish this way, there is one side of the meat that is always facing down and the other side always facing up. The bottom half facing the cutting board is called shitami, the bottom side. And the upper half facing up is called uwami, the upper side. So why is this important? It has to do with the quality of the meat. Because the shitami is always kept on the bottom, the quality of meat is lower than uwami, the upper half. So the chefs use the bottom half first and keep the fresher upper half for later use. This uwami shitami concept plays an important role for minimizing the waste when cutting fish for nigiri and sashimi. Before cutting the fish, let's remove the skin. To learn more about how to remove skin, watch the filleting technique video on how to dissect sea bream and remove the skin. The skin has been removed. Let's start with this shitami, the bottom half of the fish. When you slice fish for sushi, place it skin side down. Fish positioning. Suppose I place the fish this way and start cutting the fillet from the tail section at this angle. This will result in the corner of the fillet not being big enough to make a slice for sushi. The same goes for the other fillet. If you continue cutting like this, this corner of the fillet won't be able to be used for sushi, so it really is just a waste. Make sure to place the tail away from you on the left and pull the head towards you on the right. This positioning will prevent you from getting small pieces at the end, allowing you to utilize the meat to its maximum, which means the least amount of waste. So just to reiterate, for the shitami bottom half, make sure that the tail is pointing away from you, like this.